That is not good. Hey guys, what's up? Ellie Shailady here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. Last episode we got this beautiful majestic unicorn which we named Esteban. And today we're going to be befriending some new animals to add to our collection of doomed creatures. But first we're going to need a place for them to live, so... Welcome to LD Shire Lady's magical ostrich area. It may look suspiciously like a cupcake and that is because it is a cupcake with a rainbow path and inside is podsol. But we can pretend it's chocolate and this cupcake is rainbow on the inside. A feat that I could not achieve in real life but I can in Minecraft. Fun fact, since I had to retexture the walls I had to use really weird blocks. So this cupcake bit at the top is actually sponge and down here this is chiseled stone but I guess I I accidentally used monster egg chisel stone so now every time you break a block a silverfish pops out of it so we have to be kind of careful about that one now I definitely think our ostriches are gonna love living here but I think we may need to put a gate on just in case that should keep them in now we just need to actually find an ostrich well to be specific we need to find two ostriches because we need to find a male and a female that are close to each other so they can make a baby and we will swoop in and steal the egg before they can raise it as their own oh <gasps> birds shall we get one come to me bird oh no I think I need more seeds seeds okay which one of you took them seeds which one of you ate them? Take my seeds. Aha! Yay! <gasps> we got a pet bird. I wasn't prepared for this. Okay, we're gonna call it Katie Parrot. Even though it's not a parrot, it kinda looks like one, and I like the pun in that name. Oh, how cute! He's stomping on my head. Ow. So we'll take Katie Parrot with us while we find an ostrich. And the added power of flight might even aid us in our mission. I don't know. Well, unfortunately, all I can seem to see is these big tall tree guys. And a fox. What is that? <gasps> oh, wait, what? I'm hungry. Today's mission is powered by cinnamon sugar donuts. Ah, oh, my bird's fallen off. Oh, a little cute mouse. Can we tame it? Can we? What? What? Oh, no. I'm just going to run around with this mouse on me. I've lost my bird. I have lost Katie Parrot already. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. You're on your own now, Katie Parrot. The quest goes on for an ostrich. Such things cannot delay us. This is important work, people. Please don't fall off. Oh, no! Oh, I think it's going to drown. <laughs> that ain't good. That is not good. Oh, I broke it. I broke the mouse. <gasps> ostriches! I think that's another rest in spaghetti it's situation over there. Collection and it's all my fault. Of ostriches. I don't know the technical term for a group of ostriches. We've got some males and females, too, so they might lay some eggs. Where are the eggs? I need to take an ostrich and raise it as my own. Come on. Plop out an egg. Come on, ladies. Open those egg holes. I just did a little research and I think we need to do a little Kitty Powers matchmaking on these guys and actually get them together. So, Gertrude, Raoul, I think you guys should go on a date. 20 minutes later. As you can see, getting the ostriches together was easier said than done, but they're now separated by a mere fence. And now we can unleash their love and hopefully they make a baby. <gasps> do it! <gasps> what the heck? When did that ostrich egg get there? Oh! <gasps> Thank you. You have bestowed a wonderful gift upon me. Can I have another one, please? I'll just wait here. <gasps> Ask and thou shalt receive. Thank you. Okay, I will set you free now. Feel free to go on about your daily lives, humping and wandering around. Whatever hostages do. So let's hatch these guys in the cupcake. I don't really know what to call this. The magical ostrich cupcake. Oh, the rainbow is so beautiful. How does this work? Do we just pop you down like that? Let's see. What do ostriches eat? I probably should have read a book or something before I took on this project. <gasps> the ostrich has been born! Okay, let's go for Pumpkin Spice. What a cute name for a little... Oh, he's so... Oh, there's another one. Let's call this one Zuber. Zuber and Pumpkin Spice. They're so cute. Now we just have to wait for them to grow up and find out what gender they're going to be. So once they have grown up, we can actually give them a couple of items to do some cool things. So let's go and grab some of those items now. We're all prepared when they grow up. 
So let's make a few saddles and I'm also going to make some chests because you can put chests on ostriches which is an unusual idea and that is why I have to try it. And finally I think if you give it some wool it actually does something. But let's try out some different colours. Hopefully we get a male and a female so we can get some more ostriches from them. Ugh, this could take a while. Okay, in the meantime, I think I'm going to head off to the Twilight Forest and actually take on the second boss because we've already defeated the Naga and that was pretty easy. So I think the second boss should be a bit of a doddle as well. It's actually the Lich. I think I might also take a bow with me to speed things up. Oh no! I thought I had a nice enchanted bow but I guess I don't. Let's see if we can enchant this with some good enchantments in our beautiful enchanting tower. Hopefully Daydream Burrito is still guarding it for us. <gasps> there you are! Hey, we're going to be going to the Twilight Forest and so maybe we could bring home some more Daydream Burritos and put them in the ostrich area. I think they'd like it in there. Right, we'll take this. Power 2. Not bad, but not great. We'll work with it. <gasps> Daydream Burrito just escaped! I mean, I let him out, but... Ah! You don't leave the tower. It's for your safety. Okay, in we go. Oh, I found a maze. Let me in. I think there should be some loot inside here somewhere. And it should. Oh, angry wolf. I'm sorry, little wolf. Oh, you don't have to hit me though. Ooh, this could be handy. This golden apple. And none of this is handy. But I'll take the golden apple. You got anything else? Dang it, get out of here. Sorry. What? That was all that was in the maze? Just one measly little chest? We have almost arrived at the Lich King's Tower where we'll be taking on the Lich in his fortress. Whoa! Look how huge that place is! And we have to get right to the top to defeat this guy. Maybe we can skip the bottom levels if we just fly halfway up. Look at these little parapets here. Maybe we can just sneak in here. Hello! Where is the main part? Oh, hello. This looks like we're in the right place. How are you doing? Get out of here! Okay, so it looks like there are spawners everywhere. So it'd be good if we could get rid of these. And then we'll just advance up the tower. Ah, oh, there's holes in their staircase. Wait, are we already at the top? Oh, dang! Oh, there's the lich! I wasn't ready for this! What? There are two of him? What's going on? Which one do I attack? Oh, he's gonna kill me immediately! Quick! Time for a golden apple. Okay, now I'm ready to take on both of you. Whichever one of you is the real one. I think it might be you. Oh my gosh, there's like three of them now! What's happening? Oh, dang. Okay, if they fire something at me, I'll just fire it right back! Okay, that did not quite work out how I was hoping it would. Yeah, that's not going well. Attempt two. Oh gosh, I wasn't ready. Right, if we can fire back the attacks, then... Oh look, he's only got one shield now. You're going down, Mr. Lich King. Oh dear. Okay, show me what you got. Yes, I hit him. Oh gosh, what's that? No, not zombies. Green zombies, very, very green zombies. How do we attack? I think we just attack him. He's dying. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, help! Come here, you zombies! Ah! Right, now we can attack him directly! Wow, he's almost dead! Oh, zombies! No, 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 no! Oh, no! I'm gonna die! Aha! They fell for my trick! Ah! Oh, did he. What? Seriously? I killed him already? Nice! What do we get? We got a Scepter of Twilight! What does it do? Do we get a trophy? We got a trophy too! So we can put that on our wall next to the Naga trophy and we can show everyone how murderous we are and everyone will be so impressed by all our murders. Come here spiders, I need to try out my new attack on you. Aha! Oh that didn't work. Aha! Okay, so it's kind of a weapon, but it's only got 96 charges left. We already used two of them. And I think we're leaving now. Let's get out of here. Mission has been accomplished. We can now retreat back to the world that we belong. Ostriches. There are many, many ostriches in the world that we love. There are many, many ostriches. Back to the normal world. 
And our ostriches might have even grown. Hang on, was that a raccoon? I want a raccoon. I don't have a pet raccoon. <gasps> You're so cute. Look at his beady little eyes. Will you eat a spider's eye? <gasps> he will. Oh gosh, what should we name him? Oh, how about Rocket? That's a cool name. Come on, Rocket. Oh no, they still haven't grown up yet. Come on, Rocket. You can be their nanny while they grow up. That is a really cute idea. Imagine if you had a little nanny's outfit. Oh, it's so cute. Right, shall we display our trophy proudly in our house? I also somehow looted a load of paintings from the lich. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, I already, I mean, I killed him. And then to add insult to injury, I took all of his paintings. How rude. Well, they're mine now. So I guess we'll just put his head on the wall. Ooh, that looks a bit funky. He looks like a beef eater or something. I think we'll keep his Skepta safe on the wall because what the heck else am I gonna do with it? Oh, we got some fire protection golden boots and this gold sword with sharpness too. That'll be good for killing werewolves. <gasps> we got one female and we just have to hope that Zuba's gonna be a male. Okay, let's put a saddle on pumpkin spice and a chest as well. What the heck? What the heck is that? Oh, wait, it's like a seat, I think, for me to sit on. And we got a key as well, so we can open the chest. That's cute. Oh, we should keep our uh, donuts in there. <laughs> You're my donut carrier. Okay, how about if we give you some wool, what happens? Oh, she gets a little flag. That's so cute. Oh, my gosh. That's adorable. Oh, Zuba's a female too. And you can have a purple flag. Oh, they're so adorable. Those flags make you a hundred times more awesome. Okay, I'm actually gonna go get another egg because I wanna have a male ostrich so that we can breed them together because I wanna make a couple of different kinds of ostrich. If you give them some essences of light and fire and darkness, then they become all kinds of crazy creatures. Where are my favorite little ostriches? You're not my favorite. Where'd they go? Oh, here they are. I require one of your finest ostrich eggs, please. Take your time. I'll be here all day. <gasps> Two ostrich eggs this time. <gasps> you guys are spoiling me. Thank you. As you might recall, last time we used a lot of these essences on the horses. And you can actually also use these on ostriches. So I'm going to grab one of each just to test them out and see what we get. Okay. Okay. Two more baby ostriches inbound. Do, do, do. Whoa, ostrich has been born. We're gonna call this one Marshmallow. And you are gonna be called Pinkie Pie. What the heck? Where's this egg come from? How can there be another egg? There's no male here. We're gonna go for Fuzzy Von Cute. And while these babies are on their way to adulthood, I'm gonna test out some of the essences. So let's start with Essence of the Undead. Zuba, you're gonna be an undead ostrich. Oh gosh, it already looks terrible. Ew! He's all decaying and falling apart. Oh, and his eye is falling out. Look, he's he's lost his eye. I do not like the zombie ostrich. I'm gonna try and replace it with an essence of darkness and hope that he just turns out looking a little better. <gasps> what the heck? <gasps> He's so magnificent! He doesn't even look like an ostrich anymore. He looks like a baby dragon. Look at those wings. I think you can fly these ones. Off I go! Oh wow, that's interesting. <laughs> this is not very easy. But he looks freaking adorable. Look at his tail. So majestic. I say majestic. He's actually really awkward. Look what his legs do when I'm flying. <laughs> What's happening to my face? Okay, Zuba looks pretty cool like that, so I'm gonna keep him. Let's give Pumpkin Spice the essence of fire and see what happens. Oh, dang. Got a little bit of purple going on. <gasps> that looks so weird. He also looks like a dragon. Can I fly? Whoa. He's very um, erratic with his flight paths. <laughs> oh, Pinkie Pie and Marshmallow are both males. So I think I'm going to give Pinkie Pie the essence of light and turn her into, I mean him, into a unicorn. A beautiful and majestic golden winged creature with a nice little golden horn to go with it. Isn't that cute? Let's give you a little saddle and a chest and how about this cyan flag? Oh, that's so cute. He's so beautiful. Let's go see if we can get an animal from the Twilight Forest to bring back and you guys can all be friends. I've got to be one of the first people ever to venture into the Twilight Forest on a unicorn, right? I mean, that's not normal. Oh, 
Maybe it's even impossible. Go! Travel through the dimensions! Dang it! Okay, Pinkie Pie, if you insist, I'll go on my own. And find a little bunny! Oh, look at this one! That's so cute! It's like a... Come, here, come back here! Chocolate! Chocolate bunny! Chocolate bunny! You gotta come with me back through the portal. You're gonna make a lot of ostriches happy. Okay, you just pop in there. There you go. And I will join you shortly. Where are you? There oh, no, no! Go back in! Don't you dare! Stay out of there. So we got our little forest bunny safely back to the cupcake. So I'm going to give it this name tag to call it Kawaii Chan. <gasps> Isn't it cute? So that's it for this episode of... <gasps> oh my gosh, Rocket! Rocket just murdered Kawaii Chan. How could you do this? You're evil. Rest in peace, Kawaii Chan. So unfortunately, we've ended up in the graveyard at the end of this episode, but I hope you've enjoyed it regardless. If you have, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Phoenix. Oh my gosh. Why do the weirdos always come to me looking for dates? She likes magic wands.